I was told from my grandparents that we don't really have storms. It's taken so many folks 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years to put what they have here, and it was all wiped out in 96 hours. It was seven foot in my shop. We were not prepared for flood. Nobody here was prepared for flood. When I grew up here, it didn't get this hot. It wasn't this humid. I think what we're noticing more down here on the coast is rising sea levels. The higher tides and hurricanes just seem to eat away more of the shoreline. Climate is the average of weather. When it rains, it's going to rain harder. And those are the things that North Carolina can expect. Are you not expecting flooding then? Like no. What? No. There's no. a map that shows this one is not on a flood, a flood zone. zone. But it, they, is it, now. it had to come from, it just came from every direction. It and won't cover we didn't flood. have flood insurance because nobody we around here. In a flood zone. Nobody around here has flood insurance. You essentially see everybody's lives out on the side of the road. It's just a huge, huge mess. Is there even going to be a town? I'm still in the devastation stage, you know. You come in here every morning, and I stand here for two minutes, and I cry. You work your heart into something, and it's wiped out, just like that. It makes us all just want to walk away, and we can't. 20 years ago, when it was Christmas and it snowed, it was cold and it was really cold here. I can't remember the last cold Christmas we have had. We've gone from really, really harsh winters to now warm winters. I definitely believe there is such thing as climate change. Regardless of what anyone says, I can speak from experience. Climate change is gonna have a broad range of impacts on North Carolina. People are going to have to adjust in different ways. In some places, like near the ocean, they're going to be experiencing the impacts of sea level rise. In the middle of the state, we're going to be seeing changes in agriculture, in the plants that you can grow, in the insects that attack those plants. And in the mountains, we may see invasive species that kill trees, like various kinds of beetles or fungi. So the Earth's atmosphere acts like a blanket. The warmth that comes in from the sun during the day is absorbed by the ground and by the plants and the trees and the rocks and the ocean. And then at night, that warmth tries to get away and the atmosphere acts like a blanket. It holds a certain amount of that energy in. And what human activities have done is add an extra blanket, extra greenhouse gases that trap extra heat and make it harder for that heat to get out. If it's harder for the heat to get out, everything warms up. And so human activities have directly impacted the climate of the Earth through this process of adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. Greenhouse gas emissions keep going up every year. Um, greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere keep going up every year. The planet gets warmer year by year. All these things are happening. What does climate change mean to you? I think about it, but I don't voice my opinion on it because so many people said there's no climate change, and there is, and you can feel it. The summers get hotter and the storms well, get worse. And We had a, a real bad winter mm -hmm. this past year. So, it, you know, I guess climate change is happening, huh? We know that climate is changing, and we know that it's going to be bad. How bad is, is the question? So let's draw an analogy. People like to make medical analogies, and I think they're effective. So you go to see your doctor, and your doctor says that you have high cholesterol, and you ought to change your diet and exercise more. Uh, or you might be at risk of dying of a heart attack. Um, would you criticize that doctor because the doctor is unable to tell you when the heart attack is? Or would you go out and change your diet and start exercising more? Okay, we're in a similar situation here when we think about climate change and the long-term health, we could say, of the planet. These gases are aiding in the process of climate change. One of the things we can do to help prevent these gases is by going to things such as solar and wind, using technologies that aren't burning a fuel. 
Climate change is undeniably a challenge that we're facing, but it is also the major opportunity that we have to modernize our transport, to modernize and accelerate energy generation and energy efficiency. It's the major opportunity to create jobs, to become more energy independent, to clean our air, to have more livable cities. It's a fantastic opportunity that is going to jumpstart the global economy. A more beautiful world, the one I hope my kids inherit, is one in which people understand and take responsibility for our role in the evolution of the planet, in the climate. We can't deny it anymore. We have grown up. We have to pull on our pants and accept that we are making a huge impact on this planet and we've got to behave responsibly. We're seeing now that climate change is happening just as we expected that it would 25 years ago. The biggest thing we need to understand is that our whole world is interconnected and the decisions we make do affect the entire world.